Darjeeling is a hill resort in the eastern state of West Bengal in India. Darjeeling is a beautiful hill station situated in the Shivalik hills of the Himalayas in West Bengal. It is a picturesque hilltop with unscathed beauty and interesting tourist spots to boost off. It is internationally renowned for its tea industry and Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, nicknamed Toy Train, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Darjeeling was once a part of Sikkim. It was then lost to Bhutan, regained from it and then again lost, this time to Nepal in the 18th century. However, during the Anglo-Nepalese War, Nepal lost the hill resort to the East India Company. The British then developed Darjeeling as a major hill resort to provide them a getaway from the scorching heat of the surrounding plains. Darjeeling also became a frontier town in British India because of its strategic location and contemporary political situations. Later, at the time of Indian independence, Darjeeling was merged with the state of West Bengal. The major shopping promenade is lined with numerous small and big shops which sell everything from local specialties to international brands. Fresh tea can be purchased from one of the many factory retail shops. The cultural diversity of Darjeeling also makes it an interesting tourist spot. Apart from the indigenous ethnic, other communities like Bengalis, Mavoris, Anglo-Indian, Chinese, Biharis and Tibetans can also be seen here. Hinduism and Buddhism are the two widely followed religions here, while Christians and Muslims form the minority group. English, Nepali, Hindi, Tibetan and Bengali are the languages which are prominently used here. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway is intimately linked with the development of Darjeeling as a queen of hill stations and one of the main tea growing areas in India in the early 19th century. The densely wooded mountain spur on which Darjeeling now stands was formerly part of the Kingdom of Sikkim. It was adopted by the British East India Company as a rest and recovery station for its soldiers in 1835 when the area was leased from Sikkim and building of the hill station began, linked to the plains by road. The region was annexed by the British Indian Empire in 1858. The privately owned Darjeeling Himalayan Railway was purchased by the Government of India in October 1948. Since 1958, it has been managed by the state-owned North East Frontier Railway. The train emphasizes the social and economic importance of the line. The narrow gorge adopted, which was admirably suited to the terrain, permitted the transportation of passengers and goods in a way that had a profound impact on the social and economic development of the Darjeeling area. The UNESCO site consists of the permanent way itself, which varies in widths between 3 meters and 50 meters, and all the associated buildings, stations, goods sheds, workshops, locomotives, rolling stock sheds and railway residences. 
it repeatedly crosses the hill cart road, necessitating the provision of 170 level crossings. During the monsoon months, landslips make it necessary for many of these to be reconstructed. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway is one of the three historical railways in India. It was the first and is still the most outstanding example of a hill passenger railway. The second train is the Nilgiri Mountain Railway, a 46 km long meter gauge single track railway. This railway, scaling an elevation of 326 metres to 2,203 metres, represented the latest technology of the time. The third is the Kalka Simla Railway, a 96 km long, single track working rail link built in the mid 19th century to provide a service to the highland town of Shimla. All three railways are still fully operational. There can be little doubt that the DHR is of outstanding quality. The combination of narrow gorge and zigzag reverses was the first in the world and as such it is of exceptional technological interest. It was the first hill railway anywhere in the world and as such served as a prototype for numerous subsequent railways of this type adopted in India, in Vietnam, in Burma, in Sumatra, in Java and elsewhere. The DHR consists of 88 kilometers that connects New Yalpaguri with Darjeeling, passing through 11 stations between the two termini. One of these, Goom, is the second highest railway station in the world, at an altitude of 2,258 meters. The authenticity of the route, as originally commissioned in 1881, has been preserved in a remarkably intact condition, with only minor modifications of an evolutionary nature. All the main station buildings, with the exception of Siliguri Junction and Darjeeling, both which have been rebuilt after being destroyed by fire, have been preserved in their original form. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway is an outstanding example of the influence of an innovative transportation system on the social and economic development of a multicultural region, which was to serve as a model for similar developments in many parts of the world. The toy train, as it is affectionately known, affords breathtaking views of high waterfalls, green valleys that are often hidden by cloud, and at its end the splendid panorama of the snow-caped Kachinyunga range. This is a working railway and as a result is maintained according to regular programs. The funding for these is variable, being dependent upon current needs and the level of traffic generated. Investment plans have been prepared for the rehabilitation of the station buildings at Darjeeling, Goom, Kosiong and Tindaria. Because it passes through a mountainous region, 73% of the total length of the line consists of curves. The sharpest is that between Sukna and Rongtong. There are six reverses and three loops on the line, the most famous of these being the Batasaya loop between Goom and Darjeeling. The DHR links not only the plains with the high Himalaya, 
but also two distinct cultural traditions, the Hindu culture of Bengal and the Buddhist culture of the mountain region. The Mount Everest, the Kashanyunga and several other well-known mountain peaks are the most common sites of Darjeeling. Bounded by snow-covered mountain, ranges with few well-known peaks and the highest peak of the world, Darjeeling is also well known for its tea gardens. Darjeeling tea occupies a place of pride for the whole of India. The aroma and the taste of Darjeeling Orthodox tea is unparalleled in the world. There are a total of 78 tea estates in the hills which have been accorded to the state for its produce as Darjeeling tea by the Tea Board of India. These estates cover over 17,500 hectares, producing over 9 million kilos of tea, engaging about 50% people of the district. The cool and moist climate, the soil, the rainfall and the sloping terrains all combine to give Darjeeling tea its unique muscatel flavour, an exquisite banquet. Darjeeling still manufacture the original methods of tea manufacture, known as the orthodox tea manufacturer. Organic tea is a name given to tea grown using natural manure and ecologically sustainable practices. There is no use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides in an organic tea garden. The railways, as World Heritage Sites, define specific criteria for evaluating historic railways. To be considered for inscription of the World Heritage List, they should conform with one or more of the following. Be a creative work indicative of genius. Demonstrate the influence of and on innovative technology. Be an outstanding or typical example. Be illustrative of economic or social developments. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway was adjudged to be an outstanding line on several counts, particularly significant with regards to its social, economic and political effects and the route's relationship with the landscape. The Darjeeling Himalayan Railway is the first and still the most outstanding example of a hill passenger railway. Opened in 1881, it applied bold and ingenious engineering solutions to the problem of establishing an effective rail link across a mountainous terrain of great landscape beauty. It is still fully operational and retains most of its original features intact.